Hello and welcome back to another Heroes Evolved video provided by the Dank Oreo. Today I'm going to be showing you the new map inside Heroes Evolved and just showing you what all you can do inside the new map. We're going to be covering wards, we're going to be covering the fog of war, we're going to be explaining uh, the, 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 the vision of warding, we're going to uh, see the whole range of a ward, I meant to say, and we're also going to be touching up on how wards are bad under towers and because how wards can be killed by minions if they're seen by uh, detection so we're going to be talking about detection later there's uh two different types of detection there's a uh, standard detection where a tower has detection on invisible units that go under the tower and there's also detection where you have wards uh being spotted by the detection gem ward the new item inside the game it stores up to three wards inside your inventory then one so that's how you unlock three wards that's how you get it done that's you know pretty much a high ranked uh item to have and it's gonna also like sweep anything inside of that little vision you have your own little detection vision thing inside of the game and that's just gonna be all of that so if you notice the map right now we're actually showing you like the whole showcase of it like what it looks like the brand new feels of it the the brand new uh, textures the lights the colors the shadows the highlights the values the saturations the brightnesses i mean we're talking about like beauty right here so we're gonna be getting into the video right now i'm gonna be showing you the fog of war like sometimes you can hit the minion uh or like something when like when like you're entering and exit in fog of war you have a little bit of a time frame to keep hitting the target while you exit the fog of war so it's gonna act like it's gonna keep targeting you but like after a few seconds or so like you, that activation is going to go away now on to the next part of the video i'm showing you the, the precise ward that you need to put inside of mid lane you need to put it right in that little circle and you're going to have vision on both the left and right sides and that's how much vision is going to give you it's going to give you the vision of like the whole middle side and like the left and right side so you know just a little bit of repeating myself but yeah so right now you saw there there's like a little bit of a there's a target dummy there and it wasn't spotted by the ward in that jungle so very important you do not ward right there because you will not be able to see who goes inside the river i'll be i'll be showing you now the proper ward spot to see this dummy that's inside the river so it's not this one but check it out that ward pretty much goes in the river but it's still given like the jungle camp and a little bit of the right side of the tower so anyways, um, let me just clear the wards there. Uh, that's what I was doing right there. That's how you clear the wards in this uh, thing. So if you put it right on the edge, you get the jungle view, you get this riverside view, and you get that target dummy spotted. That's maximum ward coverage right there. That covers three areas of the map. The jungle area, the river area, and um, you know a little bit of a offensive defensive ward. It gets like that tower side too. So if uh, someone teleports and they start walking towards the jungle you'll know why because you have that ward right there anyways i just wanted to touch up on that like no longer will you be warding those spots that I, that I was doing before you can sort of uh, ward it next to the dragon pit and it's gonna provide su significant vision it's gonna tell you if enemies are coming sooner than later you know you don't want them to come hey, later because you're getting ganked and all of that stuff Next up, I want to talk about this ward that's going into the jungle. And you can see like uh, there's a target dummy there. It uh, shows that the jungle icon is there, but you don't see the jungle. That's because the ward does not go inside of the, the forest protector pit. It just goes in that range of vision right there. It's just giving off a little bit of the extended range of it can go. And remember, like... The reason it does not see that target dummy is because you're on a raised level and yeah, it just, you won't be able to see it like that. Anyways, um, let me show you this uh, little ward spot right here. So yeah, this ward spot right here will actually cover three sets of vision and I'm going to be showing you how much vision it can actually cover and how much vision you're actually getting from placing this ward in this location. It's called the trifecta ward. 
you might already recognize it from the old map from placing that ward there but let me just show you how much vision you can actually get from that ward so right here uh it was pretty much me testing it just seeing how much vision i can actually get but this is where you want a ward started? which is right there so now you can see that target dummy and the, and the left one next to it and the one to the right of it and you can also see this one right here coming out to the river so pretty much like four areas of the map like one two three four but it's it's basically the trifecta right if there's another target dummy right above the jungle camp where you can see it that's maximum vision right there like you, you'll be able to spot an enemy uh, coming from that way hey, if you had a ward the there. So I'm putting the ward here. Uh, if you take a close look, you can now see a fifth target dummy right there where you were not able to see before because the ward cannot go beyond a wall. So that's the important thing to learn. Uh, a ward cannot give vision across another wall. This spot right here, um, it's not really a new one, but let's just say it is. Anyways, this ward spot right here would cover another three sets of areas, and I'm placing the target dummies right now where you can see. I'm trying to span them out as much as I can to really show you how much uh, vision these wards can give. So first ward is right there. You only get to see one target dummy. And if you place it Peaches even Island. like right there in the middle, you will not see the top one. You will only see like barely into like where it cuts off into, into the fog of war. If you place a war spot right here though, on the stone, you'll be able to see the now two extra target dummies onto the map. Imagine these are heroes and you can see three areas that they can exit or enter. And that's very good because you, you need to know where these heroes are going to path to like whether they're going to be going to the jungle or they're going to be coming out of the jungle or you need to wait for them to be there so you can you know do your combo anyways that's just a good spot to know uh right in that stone spot so yeah uh this sets up multiple opportunities for you and your team uh it lets them know like how far or close an enemy is and things like that once this ward goes away you'll see like the true location you can sort of see that it goes into the river a little bit you can just see just a little bit there so yeah that's pretty much how it is once it expires i would do it again All right if you do it there you know it's not a good spot yes, but if you put it there started. you get to see the vision there Now onto this ward spot. This ward spot is almost similar to the one I showed you above in the enemy jungle, but this is what it looks like in your friendly jungle. You're gonna be, you're gonna be placing this ward in a new spot, and you're gonna be seeing how much vision it actually gives. It gives from like all areas of the thing. So if you saw the before and after, like you couldn't see the the three exit target dummies hey, over there the until I placed that ward in the middle. To that true ward spot so yeah and this last one right here is just a bonus video just showing you the type of ward locations that are not safe so minions will hit it heroes will hit it um probably clones will hit it too but it's just like showing you not to place it under a tower because it will get destroyed by a minion or a hero